What is up, the guys and girls? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite penguin, the Penguinator. And today I am showing you how to get all of the gauntlets in Ancient Evil from Fallen to Redeemed to Exalted. Each and every gauntlet will be in this one tutorial. They won't be separate. Uh, I don't feel like you need to make separate videos for each one of them. Just put them all in one tutorial. That way you can go to whichever one you need and then that way you know what to do. And I'm going to put timestamps down below so Homero will be a timestamp for each one and so on. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and hop into that video and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to accomplish each and every step of getting fallen, redeemed, and finally exalted. Okay, so in order to get the gauntlet, you first must to get four different hands in order to start the rituals for these gauntlets. Now, there are, as I said, four, and they spawn in 20 random locations throughout the maps. Some can be in this area, which is the normal area, or the underworld. Very first location is going to be sitting right here on this crystal, or chaos crystal. The second location is right down here from that. It can be sitting right down there. The third location for this area can be right over here near this golden statue. You're going to look to the left and see right here at the boat. You sit right there, you melee the pot, it's sitting inside of the pot, go ahead and grab that. Your next location is at the same statue, again it's going to be sitting right here in a pot, you melee the pot, break it, and there's your hand right there. Another location will be at the base of this statue, it'll be sitting right there. Another location is going to be to the left right over here where this fallen statue is, it'll be sitting right here in the grass. Another location is right here where you get to ride Pegasus to the underworld, it'll be sitting right there. And another location is right up here, it'll be sitting right here in this pot. And you break it, and there's that one. And the final location for the main area is going to be right here at the base of this spear. So let's go ahead and fast forward to the underworld with all the doors open, and I'll show you where all those locations are. Okay, once you spawn into the underworld, the first location can be sitting right here to your left as soon as you come down the stairs. Your next location is going to be right here to the left of the Odin Perk. It'll be sitting right here in a dirt mound. Your next location is going to be over here where you craft the Pegasus. It's going to be sitting right here in this corner. Another location will be sitting right here on this table. And another location near this area is going to be sitting right there by the birdcage. Another location will be sitting right here in a pot. And believe it or not, there is a location right here. It can be to the left of the Our Anus Perk. It will be sitting right there in a pile of dirt. And right here, it can be sitting in a crystal for the Acid Trap. And another location right here. Again, it can be sitting right here in a crystal by that wall by. And the final location can be sitting right here in a pile of dirt next to the Charon Shrine. So now let's go ahead that you know where all the locations are. We will now fast forward and we will show you what to do and how to get all the gauntlets and get them all the way to Exalted. So let's fast forward to our first gauntlet that we have to start the process with. Okay, so after you grab one of the gauntlet pieces, you're going to head to one of the shrines. As you can see, this one is Gaia. And they're also very easy to distinguish because they also have a glowing circle in front of them. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the gauntlet piece or the handle inside the shrine and then you're going to start a lockdown. Now this lockdown lasts about 30 seconds and apart from the regular zombies that are in the map you're going to have these special zombies that are glowing the color of the gauntlet shrine that you're using since this is guy they're glowing green and again you don't have to actually get kills but you do have to survive for about 30 seconds and then once that timer is up you can grab the gauntlet and you'll have the fallen hand of Gaia or whichever shrine you used. Now in order to get it to the redeemed state you have to go around and you will have to shoot these plants that are around the map that look like this. They have the glowing chaos crystals on them. You have to shoot all three and then after you shoot them then the crystals will drop off of the plant. The plant will go to its full form and will drop a seed. So let's go ahead and fast forward to that so I can show you what it looks like and what to do with the plant after you have shot them. Okay, so now that you've got your gauntlet, you're going to head to one of these plants. And as you can see right here, you're going to shoot 
the crystals as I said the plant will disappear and then it will spawn in hold on I'm trying to get <laughs> there we go it'll spawn in that little seedling right there and what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna have to pick up that seedling and you're gonna have to transport it back to the Gaia shrine you have to do this three times because there's three plants so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to the third one and I can show you what to do and what the trial is in order to get the redeemed hand of Gaia. Okay, now that you got the third plant, you're going to do like you did the other two. You're going to head up to the Gaia Shrine. You're going to place it. And now this portal will show up. And then you're now in the trial. Now that you're in the trial, all you're going to do is you're going to hold R2. Wait for the zombies to try and crawl up. And then when you see where they're crawling from, you release the fully charged shot from Gaia and it shoots rocks up that explode and kill the zombies. Now, important to note, you do not have to keep doing this in order to complete the trial, you just have to survive again. You can also just use the regular shot. Because all this is a survival, it's not you have to use the charged shot. So once the trial is done, you will be teleported back out, and then you will have the redeemed hand of Gaia. So let's go ahead and fast forward and I'll show you what to do in order to get the Exalted Hand of Gaia. Okay, so in order to get all the gauntlets upgraded to Exalted, there's two things you have to do, no matter what. You have to do this or you cannot get them to Exalted. The very first thing you have to do is you have to get two Epic Rewards from the uh, Oracle after completing the trials. You must get two epics and then the very next thing you have to do is you have to take the spear from your shield, you stab the eternal flame, and you have to hit that pedestal and get that fire going with the uh, spear. You have to hit it just right. Best The best way to do is to aim right at the lip and aim just a tad above it and it will spark. Now, after you have done this, that is the only two things you must do to get it started. And what you're going to do is basically the same thing as Himera, except you must get a fire zombie killed inside the circle at the Shrine of Gaia. And then again, it will start accepting zombie souls, about 20 to 30, and you'll be done. Okay, again, so once you have one of the hand pieces, you're going to place it inside the Shrine of Himara. And then you're going to have to survive again for 30 seconds. What I use is the Pegasus. It really helps out. It saves you a lot of ammo in trying to shoot the zombies. The only ones I would definitely pay attention to to try and keep an eye on and shoot is the electric ones. Because if they blast you, you can't see. So again, once you get done with the survival step, the, com the confined ring or whatever you want to call it will disappear. And you will then be able to pick up the fallen hand of Hamera. And once you pick up the hand, what you're going to do is you're going to run around the main starting map and you're going to shoot those mirrors which will reflect into the crystal and then will reflect into one of these bowls. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do and what um, happens with that after you do it. Okay, now that you've shot all the crystals and the bowls are now glowing, what you're going to do is your character is going to hung, go up and you're going to melee it and then you're going to take the piece of Himera and you're going to put it back in the shrine and melee the shrine and then the shrine will be glowing. Now in theater mode it's not showing for some reason but it is glowing. Uh, there's been a lot of glitches with theater mode lately. I don't know what the problem is. Like They still haven't fixed where the elementals don't show up and the Blight Fathers. But you're going to do that to each one of the bowls. Your first one, of course, is on the bridge. Your second one is going to be down here near the raw perk. It's going to be sitting right there. Your third and final bowl is going to be at the outside of the Temple of Apollo on the far side. So you come up from the Danu perk side. You're going to go right up here to the left. There's the mirror. And there's the bowl right there just past the mirror. And then what you're going to do, again, you're just going to run to each one, you're going to melee it, and then you're going to take it back to the shrine. So let's fast forward to after the third one, and I can show you the trial. 
Okay, so you have your third light of Himera that you're taking back to the shrine. And once you get it there, again, you melee. And you now have the portal, so you go into the trial of Himara, or Himera, however you want to say it. This one is super, super easy. All you have to do is charge the shot and hold it, and then spin around in a circle. That is it. Because the zombies will only come around the edge of this giant mirror, and all you do is you just sit there and you spin in a circle over and over again, and they will never even be able to make it onto the platform if you do it right and at the perfect speed, which is about what I'm doing right now. So again, you complete the trial, the time limit, which is about 30 to 45 seconds, and then you receive your portal to teleport out. And here, I just got tired of doing it, and I was getting a little dizzy, so I just started shooting them. But again, you teleport out. So let's go ahead and fast forward past this, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do to now get the exalted hands of the gauntlets. Now what you have to do is here at the Shrine of Himera that we're at, you have to kill an electric zombie in the circle. That is important. It has to be inside that circle. And then it will start accepting zombie souls. I think it's about 20 to 30. And after you get enough, it will stop accepting them. And then on the Pack-A-Punch, it will be glowing. The symbol for Himera, or the electric zombie, will be glowing. Again, after you get one of the handles, you place it inside the uh, hand of Keron uh, Temple right here. And you'll begin another survival time, which will be, again, the 30 seconds. So after you survive the 30 seconds, it will then activate the hand to where you can now use the fallen hand of Charon. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the fallen hand and you're going to take it all the way back to the River of Sorrows. And when you get there, what you're going to do is basically survive, but it's not going to be a time survival. It's the amount of zombies you have to kill. So what you're going to do is you're going to get right here in front of the Odin perk in my game. And you're basically just going to survive by killing zombies inside this river of sorrows. And as you kill them with the hand, the river will begin to turn more and more red. Basically, blood, as you can see, is becoming more and more reddish as the zombies get dissolved into it. And eventually you'll hit a point where it will say, drink from the river. So, and once you hit that point, you'll then run around the map and you'll have to collect coins. So let's go ahead and fast forward to that. Okay, as I said, once you get enough zombies, what you're going to do is then you're going to come through the River of Stars, you're going to drink, and you're going to see this like red aura come about you. And you're going to start seeing these coins that are glowing around the map. And you have to get three of the coins. The rest will all be false. Now you do need to be very, very careful when you do this and only have about one or at most two zombies because you will not be able to regenerate your health. Once they hit you, that's it. It stays gone. And again, you only have the four uh, hit system. So if you get hit four times, you're dead. Which is why one reason I don't like the four hit system. But anyway, so you're going to run around. And after you get your three coins, I'm just going to let it play through while I'm talking because it shows all the coin locations. Then you're going to head back to the Shrine of Charon, or Charon, how you say his name, and place the three coins. Once you've placed them all, then the portal will appear, and now you start the trial. And the trial, again, is just where it teaches you to hold R2 and then release the shot. And this is required for the first step of the Easter egg. After you do the spear on fire which I will go over in my main tutorial so you do have to get this one and two other gauntlets redeemed you do not have to get them all the way to exalted but you do have to get them redeemed so anyway the charge shot when you shoot the ground with it it causes the zombies to slow down and after they slow down enough it kills them so again this is just a timed thing which in this one if you really want something to go by the boat of Charon as you can see right there in the background. Once it is out of sight, 
the trial will be over, which will be about the 30 second time limit. So as the boat goes away, you can start to breathe a little easier because it's like, okay, the boat's about to disappear. It disappeared. There's my portal. I'm done and I'm out of here. So that is the redeemed hand of Charon. So let's go ahead and fast forward and jump to another gauntlet and show you exactly what you need to do to get that gauntlet. Okay, again, so after you attain one of the hand pieces, you're going to head to now the Shrine of Aranus. And what you're going to do is you're going to place the piece in the shrine, and again, you'll start your time trial. Now, what helps you in this one, if you want to, like I did in this game, to get Pack-a-Punch open and do your time trial at the same time, you can go ahead and place the Pegasus Staff so that Pegasus will be destroying all the zombies and you really won't have to worry about taking damage or fighting them off and it'll help while the ravens do their ritual to get the Pack-a-Punch done and open. Okay, so after you've achieved the Fallen Hand of Varanus, you're going to be trying to place yourself to shoot zombies at giant arrow uh, quivers like this one for the feathers and what you're going to be doing is trying to knock the feathers off. And then after you knock a feather off, you have to shoot it twice to get it down to the shrine. So again, you have to try and position yourself. It can be tricky a little bit um, because after you hit the feather with a zombie, you'll uh, see it shake. So you know it's there. But if you have a lot of zombies, they can trap you. So again, you see the feather, you shoot it to get it towards the shrine. And that one I failed because the zombies kept hitting me while I was trying to angle it. So again, you have to get it just right. And again, I have to go for a shield because there's so many zombies. So this one can be very, very tricky to complete. When you're trying to angle the zombies just right at the feathers. Because if you have the wrong angle, or if you... This one you only have to shoot once because the shrine's right there. So after you've done that one, then you have to go to the others. And again, it just takes time. But we're going to go ahead and fast forward to when all three have been shot and have been completed. And I'll show you the trial for the Hand of Arenas. Okay, so after you've gotten all three feathers to the shrine, you then begin the trial. Again, you hold R2. And this time, Arenas is about wind, so you develop like this wind tunnel that pushes zombies back and kills them instantly. It's probably the most powerful uh, hand to use in Redeemed when it would come to, say, maybe the boss fight or something like that. I would say the hand of Himera is very good, and this hand, and maybe the hand of Gaia, if you get it redeemed, would be good for the boss fight. Uh, the Hand of Charon is not that good, in my opinion, because it is not like... People at first assume it's going to be like another homunculus but, and attract the zombies, but it doesn't. They have to walk through it. And if they don't walk through it, then it doesn't really do anything. So I would stay away from the Hand of Charon or Charon when you want to use a hand for the boss fight. So once you're done, then the portal arrives, you portal right back out, and you now have the Redeemed Hand of Aranus. So let's fast forward and I'll show you how to get the last gauntlet, which is Himera, and then I'll show you how to upgrade all of them to the Exalted Hands. Alright, as you can see, after each one where you've killed one of the elemental zombies, like I told you earlier, at the shr shrines and then got enough zombie souls, the top of the Pack-a-Punch will be lit with the different symbols. So now what you're going to do is you're going to head into the Pack-a-Punch machine with the different gauntlets each time however what you can do is you can just go in with one gauntlet and do each trial you don't have to use that specific gauntlet but you will have the trials to do as far as I know because I think I used the light gauntlet to complete the uh, hand of cheer on trial now for the Gaia trial as you can see you're gonna have water and electric zombies mainly as the zombies you have to survive for the 30 to 4. Actually, I think it's almost a minute this time. So you're going to have that uh, amount of zombies, the water and the electric to kill. And then 
each uh, one, like I want to say it's either Charon or maybe Hamara or Hamara. I want to say it's Hamara that you will then have to kill the uh, fire zombies or skeletons, I believe. Okay, no, there's some poisonous ones, and I think there's fire. Okay, so I take that back. Gaia is all the elemental zombies. You'll have fire, poison, water, and electric. Himera, when you do that trial, I believe is going to be the uh, Machamps, or whatever you call them, the six-armed guys. Then I want to say it's the Hand of Charon's Exalted Trial is all skeletons. And then the Hand of... Um, no, I take it back. I think uh, Arenas is all skeletons and it's Charon is the Blight Fathers. But again, as you go into the different ones, you'll see which ones I'm talking about. So here you have the Hand of Arenas. And what you're going to do is, again, you have to survive. Yep, there's the skeletons. So, Hand of Arrhenus is the skeletons. And you, again, have to survive for about uh, 60 seconds. You can use the Pegasus. You can use gauntlets. Whatever you have on you at the time to survive. And after you survive each trial, the way that you must get the Exalted Hand is you have to pack a punch the gauntlet. So you don't have to do each and every one, but to get an Exalted, you could, like, let's say you want the Exalted Hand of Charon, so you do the trial, and that's the only one you get. You don't have to get each one to be able to get an Exalted Hand. You just have to go through that trial that will let you pack-a-punch it to the Exalted stage. So anyway, guys, hopefully uh, you enjoyed this video, and it helped you figure out how to complete the Exalted upgrades for all the gauntlets. If you like this video, please feel free to smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget that little bell. I wish you know if I all my future videos. And I will also be mainly live streaming on Twitch now because YouTube is broken and their notifications seem to never go out. And it seems like they're doing more and more to hurt small channels instead of help them. So I'm mostly, if I live stream, it's going to be on Twitch only probably from now on or uh, StreamCraft. So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, it's been your favorite penguin, the Penguinator, signing off. Happy gaming, and later.